an intriguing new study to tell you about tonight about what might help with preventing sex, at least among young teens. A new approach to teaching abstinence. Here's David Muir. It could change the national conversation about young people and sex. Researchers say for the first time they have clear evidence a focus on abstinence works. I think this is a game-changing piece of research. Researchers followed 6th and 7th graders in separate groups. In one, abstinence was the sole focus. In the other group, they were taught contraception and safe sex. Over the next two years, results scholars call groundbreaking. Half the students learning about safe sex were now having sex, while far fewer, a third in the group focused on abstinence, were engaging in sex. But there was something else at play here, say the researchers. Just as important was the way they approached abstinence, purposely staying clear of religion, morality, and marriage. Instead, we began by talking to children and trying to understand you know, their motivations, their, their reasons for engaging in the behaviors from their perspective. Simply said, delay, wait a bit. Sex is serious, it has risks, and we just recommend that you wait until you're older. Well, we use protection, but somehow, I got pregnant. For nearly a year, ABC News followed 15-year-old Mahogany Bryant through her pregnancy. This is my son. We went back to visit her today at her Louisville, Kentucky school, where she told us she never had that conversation. There was never a conversation about abstinence with my mom. We never talked about sex. It just wasn't a thing to talk about. And advocates say with these new results away from the home, there can be even greater impact from within it. Is that even more powerful coming from a parent? Absolutely. It might seem like they're tuning us out and turning their iPods up, um, but they do want to hear from us. They're listening. Yeah, they're absolutely listening. They are. In fact, the study shows that two-thirds of the kids who had that conversation in that group setting to just hold off until they're older actually did wait. And advocates told me late today that the number of kids who wait jumps significantly from even that when you add in that same conversation with a parent. Multiplies. With a parent. Okay, thanks to you, David.